Sources involved in the case tell CNN the videotape of Baron Scooter Pikes literally dying chained to a police chair was shot by the officer now facing charges of killing him. The now-fired Winfield, Louisiana police officer, Scott Nugent, had nothing to say as he left court shortly after both his lawyer and the local prosecutor asked a judge to seal the tape as evidence. The 17-minute videotape, according to those who have seen it, shows Baron Pikes handcuffed to a chair. The Wynn Parish coroner told CNN, by the time Pikes was in the chair, he had already been shocked with a police-issued taser nine times in 14 minutes. Sources tell CNN off-camera voices on the tape can be heard taunting the suspect, shouting the N-word, and demanding to know if Baron Pikes was high on drugs. CNN has learned the tape also shows Pikes foaming at the mouth and attempting to breathe. He later slumps to the floor and is ultimately taken to the local hospital with shackles around his ankles. In a CNN exclusive interview two years ago, coroner Randolph Williams told CNN the white officer, armed with a taser, violated every Winfield Police Department procedure on taser use. Well, it's a homicide. Pikes was being sought for an outstanding warrant for possession of drugs. The coroner told CNN Baron Pikes did not have drugs in his system at the time of his arrest, was healthy, but was having trouble following orders to stand up after being arrested. That's when Officer Scott Nugent took out his taser and began 14 minutes of repeated shocks with 50,000 volts. The first shot was fired at 1.37 p.m., and you have six shots fired by 1.40, okay, it's in three minutes or less than three minutes, actually. According to the coroner, when they got here to the police station, Baron Pikes now in the back seat, handcuffed, already tasered six times, wouldn't or couldn't get out of the back seat fast enough for Officer Nugent. So Nugent tasered him again. Shot number seven is what they call a drive stun. The taser placed directly onto Baron Pike's right interior chest and fired. And still, it wasn't over. After he got the drive stun to the chest, he was thrown out of the car on the concrete and then electroshocked two more times. Now we know Baron Pikes was dragged into the police department, shackled to a chair, according to sources, and taunted as he died. The attorney for former officer Scott Nugent would not comment on the videotape, but two years ago told CNN his client used his taser according to procedure and only after Baron Pikes resisted arrest. The tape could be admitted as evidence and shown in court when the trial begins this summer. Drew Griffin, CNN, Atlanta.